Here's a plate of ordinary sandwiches. Now something a bit less ordinary and one that takes a bit more time. But what if you want something for lunch? This is the hot sizzling cheese melting sandwich. Hello everyone. Today I'm showing you how to make a cheese sandwich, but this isn't like any other cheese sandwich you've had. It's not just two bits of old bread stuck together with a bit of cheddar and something else. This is really interesting. It starts with French bread. These are baby baguettes. And the whole thing about them is they are crispy and delicious. And I cut one of them in half so you can see it's all soft in the middle and crispy on top. But what I'm going to do to them is I'm going to put a little tomato sauce and cheese and a topping and in five minutes, this is going to turn into the most delicious lunch. So here we go. This is what it looks like. I'm going to lift it up because I've just taken it out of the oven. And here it is, and you can see it. I've just done one half at the moment, which is enough for about half a person. So maybe you'd want two of these. So what I've done is I've spread the half piece of bread and I've put tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and a little bit of grated parmesan. So you could always add more parmesan, but what I'm actually going to do is to cut it in half and taste it. Now, I'm just having, I can't see this down here, but you can now. There it is. That's what it looks like. And it's very hot, and it is going to be very delicious. And I'm just going to have a bite. Mm. Mm. It is the best cheese sandwich. So now, I'm going to cook this at all, but I'm going to stop eating and I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. Here are the ingredients. I'm showing you for half of a small baguette like this. At the top is mozzarella cheese and some snow peas. Below that is fresh parmesan cheese and also some tiny cherry tomatoes. I'm beginning by showing you the sandwich before it goes in the oven. But first we need to make a quick tomato sauce and you'll see that in a moment. And then I'm showing the green things that go with it. I'll also talk about that later. These are the ingredients you need for the sauce. You need garlic, tomato puree and chopped tinned tomatoes. What I'm doing is I'm pouring these through a sieve just to get rid of some of the liquid, not all of it. I'm not going to press it through, but I'm just going to remove what falls through naturally. I'm adding a couple of cloves of garlic, two or three for one tin of the tomatoes, and I'm pressing them through a garlic crusher. Then to that, I'm going to add the tomato puree. Just a teaspoon of tomato puree and salt, pepper, and a tablespoon of olive oil. Now you're going to put it in the microwave. It takes two to three minutes to thicken and this is what I'm going to spread on top of the bread before you add the cheese. Now you can see I've already done it here and I've added first some Emmental cheese, that's an addition to what I originally said, you don't need to but then the most important is the mozzarella, to put a lot of mozzarella on the top because that's what's going to melt and make it delicious. Now to this I've added a few very lightly poached sugar peas, three minutes in boiling water, and this is what they look like. They add a little bit of green and crunch. Preheat the oven to 190 centigrade, 380 Fahrenheit, and cook for just five minutes. That's done. Just in case you thought I wasn't going to eat it all, I definitely am. So here is what's left of my cheese sandwich, and I put on a bit of lettuce hearts and a few extra tomatoes. All I want you to do is to go and try to do the same thing. Bye bye. One last thing. I want to apologize for the sound quality in some of the clips in this last video. The problem is that the oven has a fan in it and it's barely audible, but it comes out on the recording. So next time, let's hope it gets better.